Assalamu alaikum guys, I am ARK and in this video we will be seeing how to set up a PostgreSQL local server on WSL specifically in Debian Linux machine on WSL and how to connect into PG admin in our Windows machine. So let's get started. Before installing PostgreSQL we need to just update our Linux sudo apt update just to make sure we have the latest repositories okay if uh, all packages are up to date then then we can proceed to start installation to install postgresql we need to add we need to write sudo app we will use the package manager install postgresql we need two packages to install postgresql server postgresql and uh, postgresql contrib so these are the two packages that will be helpful in setting up a local server Let's get them. Uh, I forgot the dash y flag. If you don't prefer to type y manually, so you can just add dash y after the command. I'll make sure I add that flag when I give it in the description. I'll probably just speed the video up while it's while it's installing. After the two packages have been installed, we can verify if they are installed by using psql dash dash version. If you see any version of psql here, that means you have already installed those. Even if you don't see the version of the postgresql, you can just restart your terminal and check once again. Just, uh, <coughs> enter the same command and you will see the version if it is installed properly. Otherwise, you need to rerun the commands of installing postgresql and postgresql contrib. So after installing this, to start the service of postgresql, uh, PostgreSQL server will run in background as a service. So you need to start it as a service, as a background service. So to start that, we need to write sudo service PostgreSQL start. Well, so uh, in order to start the server, you need to enter your sudo password, super user password. I've entered mine. So my PostgreSQL server is started. Let's try connecting to it so in order to connect to the postgresql server from the terminal you need to first set a password to your postgres server in order to do that you can just use sudo passwd postgres so uh, when the postgresql server is created you already have a default user named postgres so we are setting up a password for that user postgres so whenever we log into our local server we will log in through postgres through the postgres user and uh, if you want to add a new user you can add it but it is out of the context of this video in this video we will just be setting up the server so after hitting enter it will ask us for the new postgres password so you can type whatever you like to set i'm typing mine so password is updated successfully now you can just proceed with logging in if you want you can just restart the service by using sudo service postgresql stop and then again sudo survey postgresql start i don't know if there is a command for directly restarting a service i didn't research it if you want to check the status of the postgres service you can just type in status instead of start it will show you online or offline so uh, let's now see how to connect it using our shell so in order to connect you can just type in sudo u i mean the u flag represents the username it, re it shows that we are about to enter the username so we will enter our username that is uh, the default username postgres and uh, we need to log in in psql psql is a command line tool for postgresql for accessing postgresql so hit enter so as you can see we are in the database we are in postgresql so in order to list a database you can just hit backslash l you will see all these databases are in our database or oh, sorry in our local server and uh, these all are owned by <coughs> postgres so let's just get out of it backslash q will get you out of it uh, so now our concern is to connect this local server this postgresql server to our pg admin in pg admin let's see how we can do that i've already installed pg admin you can install it it's pretty simple you just have to 
follow along with the process there's nothing to set up by the way pg admin is, is not a database server in itself it's a client where we can just visually see all the databases that are present in our server so let's try adding our server as our server is a local server we have set it up in our machine so we will connect it as a local host so let's register a server name you can type whatever you want i will type uh, debian local server and uh, in host address you need to type your local address local host address that is 127.0.0.1 and uh, if you want to save password you can save password here you need to type your password and hit save as as you can see we have our local server setup and listed and uh, if i open my databases I am seeing this Elite Clean Dev database because I already have a local server set up in my Ubuntu virtual machine, I mean Ubuntu WSL on the same device, on the same laptop. Uh, if you don't have such thing, you won't see it. You will just see this Postgres database. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, don't forget to drop a like and uh, give a subscribe to our channel. You will see more content like this in future. And uh, have a nice day.